Okie dokie. So this practice I have been calling a mentalized sensory deprivation chamber. Um, it seems a bit similar to Zen meditation, though I am uh, have only been in a Zen meditation class or instructions a few times. So um, it's more tertiary crossover. Um, I think of the benefit and the reason for it related to like after you've eaten a big meal and your body, you need to rest, you need to take a nap, uh, let your body digest that food. Similarly, and I think, um, I guess for some of us more than others, it seems like a, a digestion time is a little more important to the functioning of our organism. And I want to say that to clarify and to not have it be confused with, this practice is not about avoidance. Um, it's not about avoiding difficult um, experiences. For example, um, if I've just had a, a highly charged conversation or even a mildly charged conversation, but I feel my system kind of um, tense up or get um, sort of like higher vibration style. That to me is a, a signal, a flag of sorts to say, ah, I need to take a moment and process uh, in this digestion sort of way before doing more um, sort of active or even observing practices. So that's quite a few words. Let's try it. And then maybe it works for you. Maybe you modify. Um, hopefully it inspires something that helps support you towards relational vitality. So I might suggest um, starting with your eyes shut if that's possible. It's not necessary. It can just be helpful usually. And then coming to notice the air right around you right now. It's the air near your body touching your skin. Coming into your eyes and mouth and nose. Noticing if it is cool or if it is moving in a calm, like a very calm stream or pond. Does it feel fast or stagnant? And what I propose now is that you get a sense of geography. What I mean is, if I put my hands on my chest, and then I instead say, extend my hand as far out as it goes, there's this, and then I think about the air the air between my chest and my arm, my extended hand. And then there is the air beyond my hand. So what I propose is that you get a sense 
in an easygoing way, just for this moment. It can change next time or in the future. What distance from your body feels nice? A lot of people kind of feel it as like your air zone bubble. Some people don't experience this at all. So whatever it is for you, noticing like if you include all the air in the room, does that give you a sort of like cozy feeling? Or if you just consider the air kind of in your, or somewhere around your arms length bubble, maybe less. Does that kind of feel, mm, again, like this coziness? Whatever geographic space, however much space, brings you a feeling of sort of like a gentle hug, like you're not trapped there, you're not claustrophobic, but also it doesn't feel too big. It feels like a nice kind of cuddly, but still movable amount of space. And then starting to, um, this practice, the proposal is kind of going towards visualizing, imagining, mentalizing. The way that you are sensing the air right here. Noticing, um, what quality of air or fog or water has a, a speed, like a windiness or a movingness or a vibration that feels nice. It's not too fast, it's not too stagnant. It's just right for you in this moment. And that tempo, that vibration, that movingness is in that airspace that you've defined for yourself and it goes all the way through your body. Your body sort of just disappears and in this space that you're coming to imagine and mentalize is filled with this air moving at this very nice tempo, alive tempo. And maybe this whole orb space, maybe there's even like a hum to it. You can even play around with your own self. Finding if any sort of hum fits the tempo of this air and feels kind of nice and helps your physical self disappear into and become one with this air.
kind of trying on, playing with, is there a color that this whole space takes on in a real low key, like monotone, monotonic kind of way. Noticing, is there any color or colors that add to this feeling of calm and alive? And again, that color and that tempo going through your skin, through your body, all in this orb of space. And then here, any thoughts or any sensations or any feelings that you have, letting them float away as soon as you notice them or saving them on a shelf for later. And just for this small space of practice, coming back to notice this like monotonic air space that your entire being integrates and disappears into bringing all of your mental awareness and focus on the quality of this monotonic space If you want to use this video in the future or even now, you can pause it and continue on. This explanation is really to kind of give you some groundwork to work with to really stay with this monotonic quality, which is quite different than a lot of the work I put on here is about feeling and sensing your physical body. And this practice is leaving the thoughts and the sensations to the side and just bringing full awareness, returning again and again to this monotonic space, like a sensory deprivation chamber. used as a tool not to avoid life, but rather to give your organism, your entire self, room to digest life experiences. <laughs> 